there, I'm Emily, and welcome to my beer channel. This week is American Craft Beer Week, so I thought that I would try some craft beer from some of my favorite breweries. I'm originally from Lincoln, so I'm going to focus on some Lincoln breweries this week, like Imperium Brewing Company and Zipline Brewing Company. And because I loved Fort Collins, Colorado so much, I'm going to be trying a beer from Odell Brewing Company. <coughs> so I know we've all been at places where we didn't have a bottle opener, we couldn't find anything to open a beer with, and we had to improvise. So this week I'm going to be opening these beers in very unconventional ways. My trusty beer opener, you have done me well, but for now I'm going to have to say, see you next week. Let's get to this. <coughs> the first beer we are going to be trying is from Empyrean Brewing Company, the Burning Sky Scottish Ale. <coughs> okay, so this one has an IBU of 13, so it's not going to be too hoppy. It's got a 5.3% alcohol by volume. It says that it's sweet and smooth with a wee hint of smoked character, so it'll be a good interesting flavor. The first method that I'm going to be trying tonight is using another beer, because chances are if you've bought a six pack, you still have a beer left, so let's go with that one. Oof, I don't know what I'm doing. What am I doing? <laughs> I did it! It smells like it has some spices to it. I'll have to say the description was spot on. It is slightly sweet and slightly spicy. And not by spicy as in like hot peppery spicy, but spicy as in it has a blend of flavors that um, represent some spices that they put into the beer. It has a good flavor to it. I really like this beer. The next beer we'll be trying is the Zipline Country White. So the next method I'm going to be trying is with a CD. If you were a kid from the 90s, you will have a handful of AOL CDs lying around, so go grab one of those. So the CD is a bad idea, so we're going to go on to our next idea. We're going to go with something a little more substantial. Like this. works. This is not going to work. Okay, in order to save my money, um, I'm going to veto this one because I already ripped a hole in the dollar. So the next thing we're going to try is a lighter. Less expensive than a $20 bill. very pale color. It is a really light, crisp beer, and it has some hints of citrus. It's pretty good. I like it. <coughs> the next beer we'll be trying is the Odell's 90 Shilling. Smooth and complex, 90 Shilling is a medium-bodied amber ale with a distinct burnished copper color and deeply pleasant aroma. Now the method of opening it will be a carabiner. Put it underneath the thing and use it as a thing. Yeah. <laughs> well it worked, but it spilled. Nobody said this was gonna be easy. I got beer in my armpit. All right, well. So it does have a nice copper color. It's gonna be a nice copper ale. That's pretty good. The body of the beer is how it tastes in your mouth. So the Zipline Country White had a very light body. It was very light, easy to drink, not very heavy at all. And a medium bodied 
Um, it feels it feels more substantial in your mouth and in your tongue on your tongue. Um, a darker beer like a porter or a stout would have a um, a heavy mouth feel. Well, I hope that you learned some unconventional ways to open up a bottle of beer. Take what you've learned from this video and go impress your friends. Then tell them to subscribe. Opening a bottle of beer with something other than a bottle opener is pretty cool. But if you're at a party and you have some champagne and you want a cooler way to open it, check this out. Do not try this at home. Victory has never tasted so good. Thank you for watching. Go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you think. <coughs> Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.